Welcome to Master Mathematics Minutes. Today's topic is about simplifying large numbers in standard form. And we'll cover a couple examples where we simplify large numbers in standard form. And we will conclude the topic with a summary. And finally, be kind and subscribe for more videos. So, how do we simplify large numbers in standard form? Recall the definition of standard form is where we have numbers of the form a multiplied by 10 to the power of n, where n is a positive or negative integer, and a is greater than or equals to 1 and less than 10. So we can simplify large numbers in standard form. Firstly, consider the case where we add two large numbers in standard form. We will first add these two numbers and then convert that into standard form c times 10 to the power of p. Similarly, if we're subtracting two large numbers in standard form, we will first subtract the number and then convert that into standard form as d multiplied by 10 to the power of q. And thirdly, consider the case where we multiply two large numbers in standard form. So we'll multiply a and b as ab, and 10 to the power of n multiplied by 10 to the power of m is equals to 10 to the power of n plus m. And lastly, we have the case where we divide two large numbers in standard form. So we'll divide a and b, so we have a over b, and 10 to the power of n divided by 10 to the power of m is 10 to the power of n minus m. In the first example, we're asked to simplify 2.1 times 10 to the power of 2 plus 4.5 times 10 to the power of 3 in standard form. So we can rewrite these numbers as 210 for the first one plus 4,500 for the second one. And that is equals to 4,710. And we'll rewrite this in standard form. So that is equals to 4.71 times 10 to the power 3. So 4.71 is between 1 and 10, and 3 is a positive integer in standard form as required. In the second example, we're asked to simplify 3.7 times 10 to the power 5 minus 2.2 times 10 to the power 4 in standard form. So we have the first number as being 370,000 minus 22,000, and that is equal to 348,000. And we will rewrite this in standard form, and that is equal to 3.48 times 10 to the power 5. So 3.48 is between 1 and 10, and 5 is a positive integer. So this is in standard form as required. In the third example, we're asked to simplify 7.6 times 10 to the power of 8, multiplied by 6.8 times 10 to the power of 2. And we want the answers in standard form. So we'll group 7.6 multiplied by 6.8 as this term here, 7.6 multiplied by 6.8, and we'll group 10 to the power of 8 and 10 to the power of 2 together. So that becomes 10 to the power of 8 plus 2. And that is equals to 51.68 times 10 to the power of 10. And to write that in standard form, we have 5.168 times 10 to the power of 11. So 5.168 is between 1 and 10, and 11 is a positive integer. So that is in standard form. In the fourth example, we're asked to simplify 5.5 times 10 to the power of 7 divided by 1.1 times 10 to the power of 5, and we want the answers in standard form. So we'll group 5.5 divided by 1.1, and that is equals to 5.5 over 1.1, and we'll group 10 to the power of 7 divided by 10 to the power of 5, and that becomes 10 to the power of 7 minus 5, because we're dividing here. So 5.5 over 1.1 is 5, and this becomes 10 to the power of 2. So 5 is between 1 and 10, and 2 is a positive integer, and so this is in standard form. To summarize, recall the definition of a standard form is where we can write numbers as a times 10 to the power of n, where n is a positive or negative integer, and a is greater than or equals to 1, and less than 10. 
So we can simplify large numbers in standard form. So consider the case where we add two large numbers in standard form. We'll add the numbers and restate that in standard form. Similarly, when we're subtracting two large numbers in standard form, we will first subtract the number and rewrite that in standard form as d times 10 to power q. And in the case where we multiply two large numbers in standard form, we'll multiply a and b as ab, and 10 to the n times 10 to the m becomes 10 to the power of n plus m. And finally, if we're dividing two large numbers in standard form, we'll group a divided by b as a over b, and 10 to the n divided by 10 to the m as 10 to the power of n minus m. Thank you very much for watching. This is Master Mathrax Minutes.